Very quick movie news. Um, this isn't really directly related to the Hunger Games, yet it is. Uh, last week, we learned that X-Men... Actually, let's let's go back for a second. So, remember when Gary Ross uh, left the franchise? You guys all remember that. Uh, and the main reason that he uh, cited was just a lack of time. And the reason why there was a lack of time was because the Hunger Games Catching Fire needed to wrap up filming in December so that Jennifer Lawrence could then go film the next X-Men movie in January. Well, X-Men has now pushed back their production start date to April. So first of all, how do, how do we think this is going to affect Catching Fire filming? Um, Rebecca, do you think that they might continue filming into January or, or are, you know, wrap dates kind of a set thing? Do you think they'll just go ahead and end in December? Well, that depends. I mean, they probably have contracts with everyone who's, you know, well, lack of better words, contracted to go until the end of production, which I believe is, yeah, December. But um, now that Jen will be free, if they have to do reshoot. They'll, she'll be free to do that as well. And I don't know what the other actors, other main actors, have on their schedule, but I don't think they do have much post catching yeah. fire on their schedule. So they may actually extend extend things. I think they would. I mean, if they have, if they've been given a, you know, a lot more time to get things done. I would take that time and just do things even better than they could if they before when they were like scheduled within an inch of their life. I hope they Yeah, do. that's that's what I would think they would do. Does anyone else have a differing opinion? Would anyone like I, to challenge I, I'm gonna have a, a differing opinion. I think with more time they will use that time to burn copies of the film burn as in destroy so that we have no film with these extra two months. No, I'm joking. Obviously, I think this bodes well that they'll get more shooting time. I agree, um, or, or more time at least to uh, work with any any kinks. Maybe a problem arises and they're able to do something that they couldn't have done before in slightly less of a rush job. So I think I think we should only take this as good news personally. Well, Adam, I want to ask you because you were a big uh, supporter of Gary Ross. Um, we we were both pretty devastated when he left. I don't know if our listeners remember the Gary Ross is boss campaign, but Adam and I both made videos for that, and um, you know it, it was very it was a very sad thing for us when he chose to leave. So I guess Adam, what I want to ask you is, you know, does this mean that technically Gary Ross could have directed Catching Fire, like? You know, because if he had known that Jennifer would not have to go do X-Men until April, I think that he would have stayed on because he would have had, you know, an extra four months in which to work. Um, so w what do you think about all of that? I think, I mean, I don't know if, or I know you have seen it. I was going to say, I don't know if you've seen it. I know you've seen it. Gary Ross even even publicly said that he has no regrets about his decision he didn't think he could do it in that time. Maybe he could have done it with these few extra weeks, but I'm inclined to think that um, it's become more and more evident that I think he, he wanted a lot more time, not even just a little bit. So maybe he would have done it, or maybe that would have been what he needed to do it, but they certainly couldn't rely on that. And I think ultimately um, – I'm still very sad that Gary Ross isn't part of the process, but I guess I've moved on personally. Um, yeah. You sort of have to. And I think I'm just trying to not think about these what-if scenarios and assume that this was really the only course of action that could be taken. And, and I guess it's good that Francis Lawrence has a little more time to play with, even if he's not, not Gary Ross. Maybe he'll be great in other ways. That's my positive take, I guess you could say. Yeah, uh, you know, clearly they must like what they're seeing from Francis Lawrence, since they did go ahead and hire him on to do Mockingjay Part 1 and 2, 
So, uh, you know, I kind of think it's like a, a bit like a breakup. And I think we might have even talked about that when Gary Ross left. Like, we kind of felt like he had broken up with us, um, just like suddenly out of the blue. And now, you know, uh, so much time has passed that we're finally kind of over it and we're ready to move on to Francis Lawrence. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing because last year I remember we compared – the Hunger Games film to a baby and like we said we felt like we were having a baby and now we're talking about like breaking up with the directors and like moving on to a new director it's, it's I'm using some really bizarre analogies uh anyways but yeah I I you know if Gary Ross doesn't regret it I don't and I'm I think now I'm kind of excited that this Lawrence has done and is doing um I think it'll be cool to see a new take on everything anyone else want to comment on that um, I was just going to say that the moment I heard about this, my thoughts automatically went to Guy Ross as well. Um, and just the wondering of, like, what if. And I'm not saying that um, the change is a bad thing. Obviously, we don't know what is going to happen with Catching Fire yet, so we can't judge either way. Um, but, yeah, it really made me wonder, and I really couldn't get past <laughs> wondering about Guy Ross to even think about it in any other sense. I think it's natural to just wonder about that. Like, if he had done Catching Fire, I don't think he would have done The Mocking Jays because I think there's definitely going to be a time crunch there. Um, any other comments on Gary? Have I said Gary Lawrence tonight or have I been good and said Gary Ross the whole time? How did you, you said Gary. No, no mistakes. Although I like this this tweet from... Our very, very wonderful listener of the show, Erica, a little mini racer, said, Gary Ross is like an ex-boyfriend. See ya! Exclamation. Oh, that's <laughs> so really guess, funny. I guess some other people have, have moved on in the relationship analogy that you posed, <laughs> Savannah, not too long ago. So, um, I, it did sort of feel like a relationship. Um, it did. Are we going to Swift? We are never getting back together. Not ever. Oh my god. Listening to old songs is not gonna help, you know. You just have to kind of distance yourself and defriend that person and take her or him off in this case him off Facebook and off your buddy list and, and out of your phone. You know, until you you feel ready to see him uh and you've pulled yourself back together. Maybe we're finally at that point. Thanks to our our new New relationship New person, relationship. Yeah, I was going to say Gary Ross, Francis Lawrence. <laughs> so anyway, and, yeah, um, and and we'll watch it begin again with Francis Lawrence. That's for you, Flo, since you already made one Taylor Swift reference. Like, <laughs> <laughs> excellent. We are never, are ever, getting, ever, 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 ever getting back together. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Um, not ever. Anyway. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So my final question, I feel like I'm just bombarding our panel with questions tonight, but I've been thinking a lot about uh, the, the production schedule for Mockingjay because, if you'll recall, they are filming Mockingjay Part 1 and Part 2 back-to-back. Uh, and I just I wonder when they're going to do that. So let's just say they wrap up things with Catching Fire, like, in January. I mean, then there's post-production, Jennifer Lawrence will be filming X-Men from April to who knows when. Then there's, like, publicity and, and stuff for Catching Fire. Do you guys think that they might film, um, the, film the Mockingjay films in 2014, like, just from January to, like, July or something? Like, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, how long will it, will it take a lot longer to do two movies back-to-back? Well, well, the only other films that I can think of where they, they film them back-to-back or simultaneously are both the Lord of the Rings series and The Hobbit. Like, yeah. they were, like one day they're like, oh, okay, what, what scene am I doing? Oh, it's from that part of the story or whatever. <laughs> so, and they were down to New Zealand for, for Lord of the Rings two years. And then for, for The Hobbit, I think they were down there for about, about two years again to do three films. But this is two films, so it won't be two two years. It'll be maybe a good solid year of these people's lives. Maybe not the actors, but but the behind the scenes people. Yeah. So if if 
Jennifer finishes with with X Men. Well, she's she's not going to be finished when they're doing promotional stuff for for um, Catching Fire. So she's going to have to take time off from production for, from X Men to do promo for Catching Fire, and that'll be in November, right, of next year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully, and then she'll go back and finish filming, or maybe she'll be done. Who knows? I don't know. And they'll come back, maybe, maybe even in December of of 2013, and just start and just keep going until they fall over, like or <laughs> over. <laughs> there is, there is going to be, it's going to be grueling. 